Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Welcome to part five in this six part series about essential nutrients. In this video, I'll share why are minerals essential, which minerals are essential, food versus dietary supplements, and mineral RDAs and best food sources. Like vitamins, minerals are essential because your body can't make them. They must come from your diet. Until the 20th century, food was the only source for all essential minerals. Today, mineral supplements can help prevent most mineral deficiencies. Unlike vitamins, minerals are common elements found in the Earth's crust. There are two types of essential minerals, macro minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sulfur, and trace minerals like iron, manganese, copper, iodine, zinc, and selenium. Some supplements provide phytochemicals and non-essential minerals. Non-essential minerals have no daily value or recommended dietary allowance. Most healthy individuals can obtain all essential minerals by eating a balanced diet. The dietary supplement industry wants people to believe otherwise. They assume most people eat nutrient deficient diets requiring mineral supplements to prevent deficiencies. Age, lifestyle, and some medical conditions can cause mineral deficiencies. Obtaining enough essential minerals from your diet depends on the type, quality, and quantity of food you eat. Very low-carb diets, like keto, can cause potassium and other mineral deficiencies. There are many advantages of obtaining essential minerals from foods instead of dietary supplements. Supplements can have fillers, binders, added sugars, artificial colors and flavors, and GMO ingredients. Two advantages of high quality supplements are zero calorie and can prevent deficiency. The same is true for multivitamin and mineral supplements. The RDA for the macro minerals ranges to less than half a gram for magnesium to about three grams for potassium. By comparison, the RDA for the trace minerals can be less than one milligram. We all need calcium for healthy bones, teeth, muscle function, and nerve transmission. The adult RDA is 1,000 milligrams for both men and women. Dairy products are one of the best sources of calcium. A serving provides about 25% of the adult RDA. A serving of sardines or salmon with bones also provides about 25% of the RDA. Boneless sardines and salmon have about 10 milligrams of calcium per serving. Leafy greens like kale and turnip provide about 200 milligrams per one cup serving cooked. Chloride is a chemical in salt and an electrolyte like sodium and potassium. Like other electrolytes, chloride helps maintain fluid balance. There is no RDA for chloride. For this multivitamin plus mineral, the RDA is 3600 milligrams. That equals the chloride in one teaspoon of salt. High sodium foods like beetroot and milk are high in natural chloride. You need magnesium for protein synthesis, muscle and nerve function, blood glucose control, and regulating blood pressure. The adult RDA is 320 milligrams for women and 420 for men. Nuts, seeds, and leafy greens are excellent sources of magnesium. 
leafy greens are low-calorie sources of magnesium compared to nuts and seeds. Like calcium, phosphorus is needed for healthy bones and teeth, also for healthy DNA, RNA, and cell membranes. The RDA for men and women is 1250 milligrams. Like calcium, dairy is a good source of phosphorus. But unlike calcium, you can also get phosphorus from seafood, chicken, and legumes. Our next mineral is potassium. It's needed for cell function, intercellular fluid volume, blood volume, muscle, and nerve function. The adult RDA is about 3,000 milligrams. There are hundreds of healthy high potassium foods. They include fruit, vegetables, legumes, poultry, and seafood. Sodium is required for intercellular fluid volume, blood volume, muscle, and nerve function. There is no RDA for sodium. Adequate intake is defined as less than 2300 milligrams per day. Some sources recommend limiting total sodium to less than 2300 milligrams per day and others added sodium. Most sodium comes from prepared foods. One meal can provide one half to a day's worth. Most minimally processed foods have small amounts of natural sodium. One cup of milk has about 100 milligrams of natural sodium. By comparison, one ounce of cheese has between 60 to 500 milligrams of sodium. High sodium diets can increase the risk of developing high blood pressure in people who are sodium sensitive or have chronic kidney disease. Salt is not the only source of sodium. There are many other ingredients added to foods that increase sodium content. Our next essential mineral is sulfur. You may be surprised to learn sulfur is the third most common mineral in the human body behind calcium and phosphorus. Dietary sulfur comes from the essential amino acid methionine in protein. Amino acids are essential for a wide variety of proteins, like muscle. The RDA is based on weight, about 14 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. A person weighing 70 kilograms needs about 1,000 milligrams a day. Like all amino acids, animal foods are one of the best sources but you can also get enough sulfur from plant foods like nuts and legumes. We now come to the first trace mineral, iron. The RDA for iron is higher for women than for men. Unlike macro minerals, you need less than 30 milligrams of iron a day. You need iron for more than hemoglobin in red blood cells. Iron is required for physical growth, cell functions, some hormone synthesis, and neurological development. It's the iron in hemoglobin that gives blood its red color. Iron deficiency causes fatigue and anemia. There are two forms of iron, heme iron from animal foods and non-heme iron from plant foods. While heme iron is more easily absorbed, vegetarians can obtain enough iron from plant foods. While a serving of white beans has more iron than a serving of beef liver, it's non-heme iron. You need about 10 milligrams of non-heme iron to equal the 5 milligrams of heme iron in liver. Manganese, not to be confused with magnesium, is required for your immune system, bone formation, metabolizing cholesterol, glucose, and carbohydrates, and for reproduction. And to do all that, you only need about 2 milligrams a day. While blue mussels are an excellent source of manganese, fruit, 
vegetables, grains, and nuts are also excellent sources. The trace mineral copper is needed for energy production, iron metabolism, connective tissue synthesis, and neurotransmitter synthesis. Unless you're pregnant or lactating, the RDA is less than one milligram a day. With the exception of beef liver, plant foods are an excellent source of copper. A few high copper foods include potatoes, cashews, dark chocolate, and chickpeas. The mineral iodine is essential for thyroid function, protein synthesis, enzyme and metabolic activities. You only need a very small amount, 150 to 290 micrograms a day. If you've had iodine deficiencies, you may want to consider adding seaweed or cod to your diet. Greek yogurt and iodized salt are also good sources of iodine. The mineral zinc is important for your immune system. It's also needed for protein synthesis, wound healing, DNA synthesis, cell division, taste, and smell. The RDA for zinc is about 10 milligrams a day. Red meat, seafood, and poultry are good sources of zinc. Vegetarians can obtain zinc from legumes, nuts, and seeds. The trace mineral cobalt is essential for red blood cell formation, neurological functions, and DNA synthesis. The main source of cobalt is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency will cause a cobalt deficiency. A diet providing enough B12 will also provide enough cobalt. Animal foods are the best source of B12 and cobalt. Vegans can obtain enough B12 and cobalt from fortified foods like breakfast cereal and B12 vitamin supplements. You need the trace mineral chromium to metabolize fat, protein, and carbohydrates, and for insulin action. The RDA ranges between 25 to 45 micrograms a day. You can obtain enough chromium from a variety of animal and plant foods. Our final essential trace mineral is selenium. It's needed for thyroid function, protein synthesis, enzyme, and metabolic activity. The selenium RDA ranges between 55 to 70 micrograms. High selenium foods include Brazil nuts, tuna, halibut, sardines, and ham. I've published videos providing more information for the highlighted macro and trace minerals. Links to these videos are provided in the description of this video. Some takeaways from this video are healthy individuals can obtain all essential minerals eating a balanced diet. Some very low carb and vegan diets can cause mineral deficiencies. Your diet should provide macro and trace minerals. And dietary supplements can help prevent mineral deficiencies. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.